Hi, Dr. Osborne here with Gluten Free Society, and today I want to talk a little bit about gluten, how it affects muscles, and how it affects weight loss. Uh, a lot of people are going on the gluten free diet more as a fad, as a trend to help with weight loss problems. And for many people, that's going to work very well. And it's not a dangerous diet to be on, and grain is not essential in the human diet. So there's no harm done with going on a gluten free diet for weight loss. However, I think it's more important to touch on the muscle loss that can occur when people do eat gluten who are gluten sensitive. So we have gluten can be detrimental and can cause inflammation in the muscle that can lead to muscular loss or muscle atrophy. And then that muscle atrophy can subsequently lead to joint dysfunction. And so what you end up with is a person who over years of gluten exposure has weakened muscles, has lower muscle mass, uh, maybe they're overweight, but they just don't have the muscle tone that they need. And the problem with this is that muscle is so important for so many different functions. Your muscle is a reserve for your immune system. So when your immune system is in a weakened state, it can pull from the muscle to make antibodies and other proteins to help defend against invaders, to help defend against allergens. Muscle is also important because it's a pump for the lymphatic system. So the lymph system that generates or pumps white blood cells through the lymph tissue in your body, that system relies on adequate muscle tone and adequate muscle movement. If a person becomes atrophied as a result of years of gluten exposure, then what we see is we see a state of weakened immune function and we see a greater predilection toward infection and other, other issues relating to lymph flow. So all in all, muscle is very important tissue and so going gluten free oftentimes is not enough for a person to fully recover because going gluten free doesn't build muscle. So we really want to talk about how when we go gluten free, how to restore the muscle that was lost as a result of gluten induced muscular inflammation and gluten induced atrophy. And the only way that that can really be done aside from getting gluten out of the diet is a person has to actually work the muscle muscle responds based on external pressures. So we have to add in exercise. Now, some of the most core basic fundamental exercises that a person should be able to do are the push-up, the pull-up, the squat, the lunge, and the sit-up. Those five exercises represent basic body movements that work the majority of muscles within the body and it doesn't require a lot of expensive gym equipment or doesn't require a trip to, trip to the gym. It just basically requires some coordination, some skill, and some effort on your own part. So if you click the link below, you'll, you'll get access to a free report that a, a close friend of mine, personal trainer and expert trainer, has, has put together on how to start incorporating uh, some of these fundamental exercises, and in this case the pull-up, without injuring yourself, because this is one of the big factors as well. When your muscles are atrophied, if you get into this too quickly, you can create trauma or injury to the muscle and then with that new pain comes a lack of exercise and we certainly don't want that to happen to you either. So go grab that free report and I hope it's helpful for you. Have a